This next game is the gem, the, the gem in the lot. 195, oh, broke bank. What's up, guys? I'm here and back again for some more gaming content. If you watched Monday's video, you would have seen me make a plug at the end for a really decent Xbox 360 and one PS3 game haul video that I managed to uh, salvage at a charity shop over the weekend. I didn't film it because I was just in there really quickly and it was the whole thing took about five minutes or less. So, but there is a charity shop game hunt coming up very, very soon. So I'm gonna take you through this. Let me know what you think. Make sure you watch this entire video or if you're watching it live, stay for the full live stream or premiere and let me know what you think. And please tell me some of the things that you've found recently that you've really buzzed off in the charity shops because I think it's harder and harder to find stuff. Hold on a minute. Let's just pause it right there while I'm pulling a ridiculous face. Friday's video is going to be amazing. We found some awesome charity shops and some never before seen pickups on the GameCube and such consoles alike I am excited to show you. We picked up a ton of stuff so I'm plugging it here. It is way better than this so stay tuned and let's continue the video. So when you do get them, the excitement meter rises and it is awesome. So let's kick it off then. I've kind of tried to put them out of view. Now, got me a nap copy of Watch Dogs Steelbook. Wait a minute. With the map. Oh, with the instruction manual. And then there's some just random paraphernalia trying to sell your stuff back when the original release was there. Um, that's, I mean, Watch Dogs didn't live up to the hype, unfortunately. But, yeah, charity shop find? A steelbook especially? What? Usually it's an abundance of FIFAs, Connect games that nobody wants to care about. So this was pretty cool. This was 95 pence. So 95 pence. All these discs as well, because I've checked them, are in really nice condition. So let me put the map back in. I mean, especially when you get like everything inside, I think it just makes it so much more rewarding from the charity shop game hunts. So we snagged a copy of Watch Dogs. The rest are 360 titles. Like I said, one of them is worth quite a bit and I paid 195 for it. I may have said that in Monday's video if I didn't say it in this. We snagged a copy of, oh, decent game, Modern Warfare 2 on the 360. Um, has manual actually I thought this one was missing manual and um, we're all craving we're all craving a remaster I'm a cod girl at heart and you can judge me as you will but I don't care I really enjoy Call of Duty as it's mindless and it helps me to escape from reality and this was probably one of the last Call of Duty games that I really really enjoyed aside from World War II Will we get a remaster? Hopefully we will. Hopefully it'll be this year. Um, obviously we got the Modern Warfare remastered game, which was free on PlayStation Plus last month. So this was really nice. Um, holds its value as well. Moving on. Um, got quite a few racing games here. Uh, this is Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, which I have never played. But what I can say is that I streamed Burnout Paradise over the weekend. It was my Sunday chill stream on YouTube right here. And somebody made a comment that there were a load of really, really good racing games on the 360, a lot of which you're gonna see here. So I, was, I kind of like had that in mind. I think it was like a comment, yeah, somebody said it, definitely said it on the Burnout um, stream. And I had that in mind, I picked this up. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I'd give it a whirl for 95p. We have Manuel and Disc, of course, in really, really tasty condition. So if you've played this, what is it like? Let me know. Righty, righty, righty. I'm gonna pick a few up here. Saves me just, you know, saves me. And um, we've got Forza Motorsport 3. Now this one, we just chuck these here. This says bundle copy only, and it felt quite heavy. Um, and inside, I think there's two, yeah, there's two discs. You've got like a million discs. Because obviously the 360 wasn't Blu-ray. So I remember like something like GTA, you had like more than one discs, whereas PS3 you didn't. So recently started to fall in love with Forza on my Xbox One S. Um, 
Obviously Gran Turismo seems like the PlayStation's rival. I actually prefer Forza, I think it's so much fun. I love it, it's my guilty pleasure. Um, moving on, Dirt 3. Again, not played this, but your comments resonate with me when I'm out on charity shop hunts because you mention things on social media and you mention things on video videos and it really really helps me to kind of hone in um, manual is included as well and this one was also 95 pence oh my god like seriously it, I can't wait I can't wait to go more charity shop hunting and a little tip for you guys these were not out on the shop floor so I actually asked a member of staff I'm like you know do you have any old games in da, da, da. and then out came this massive box so it's always worth asking um, Easy tip, but often overlooked. Um, Need for Speed, The Run. This is the limited edition. Uh, it says here, featuring bonus content, including the all new Lamborghini Av Av Aventador, uh, Porsche 911 Carrera S, Chevrolet, Camaro ZL1, and five exclusive challenges. Um, but inside, there was a copy of Need for Speed Carbon. So as we were checking, the guy said, do you want it for free? And I'm like, no, I'll pay for it, dude. So um, I, you know, I don't think you should kind of do that to cherry shops. So um, we got a nice copy of Need for Speed Carbon, so a Brucey bonus in that puppy. Um, still got lots more to go, including the gem in all of this. Okay, let's pick another wad up. In fact, we'll just chuck them here. We'll chuck them here. You can't see that. Um, a non-racing game now, guys. Just Calls 2. Um, box complete. This is from the classic range, as it said, but a little bit like when PlayStation had the silver label um, platinum versions back in the day. This is mindless fun. I think the Just Cause series as a whole is mindless fun. Unfortunately, the games don't vary enough for me to say that I'm a die-hard Just Cause fan. I think these, for me, are games that you kind of dip in and out of when there's nothing else to play. But I don't own it, so I picked it up. For you guessed it, 95 pence. <laughs> Vin Diesel, dude, Vin Diesel, ultimate cheese ball, wheel man. Like I said, plenty of races in this, um, action, craziness, the streets are his battleground. The car is his weapon. Like, dude, the cheese level rings true here. Unfortunately, no manual, but thank you, Vin Diesel, because now I own you. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like if you're enjoying this content. Loads more pickups to come picked up a copy of Fracture. Um, it was actually Jess that said I should get this because I was going to pass this by. Now, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, wasn't this an online game only? No, it's not. What am I, maybe I'm thinking of, what am I thinking of? Defiance. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, but again, I don't own it. I don't really have a lot to say about it, so I'm not going to stand here and bullcrap you guys to death this is a pickups video i'm just you know i'm just bringing these to the table so picks up fracture now this puppy this next game is the gem the the gem in the lot 195 oh broke the bank this holds its value it's a great game eternal sonata unfortunately missing manual played this actually back on launch picked up a pre-owned copy um, just after launch actually from game remember it so well um, really beautiful game really really nice the music obviously is taken from the classical era it really is a stunning game and I remember my friend Lewis recommending it to me Lewis if you're watching this video I remember like what nine what oh god I mean many years ago would it have been eight years ago nine years ago when you recommended this um, I picked it up back then. Unfortunately, I didn't give it as much time and I don't own it. And this is the kind of game that you don't expect to see in a charity shop. So it's always worth asking what they've got in the back. Wicked. We are not done. Can you believe that? I told you. And all of this is under 13 quid. Yeah, all of it is under 13 quid. Sega Rally. Best. One of the best arcade races, in my opinion. In the world loved the kind of sit down arcade seats the sega rally loved racing my friend andy i recently picked this up on ps3 as well and now i've got it on the 360 because i just love it i love it on the sega saturn i love the arcade version in fact i just love arcade races and again we were talking about this on the burnout paradise sunday chill stream 
super stoked. So stoked with that. Um, three more titles, don't you dare go anywhere. Uh, got Stuntman Ignition, again, don't own it. Snagged it, 95p, don't really know what to say about it. Um, we got Test Drive Unlimited 2. Box complete. Whoever chucked these in the trouser shop was clearly a racing fan. Um, and then finally, from a classic series, we got a Need for Speed title, this one being Undercover. Um, I believe, oh no, this has manual. Bloody stickers everywhere. Um, from the classics range, first played the Need for Speed. Oh, was it my brother? I, he had a copied version of Need for Speed on the PlayStation 1. And I write, like, I think, May, may have played that before Gran Turismo or just after and I was like blown away at just how how good it looked how how real it felt um and I think since then there's no argument Need for Speed has been a consistent series throughout the years so I think we owe a lot to this I think it's helped as a series to set the bar the precedent for other races that have come out if you want to tell me different smash a comment below it is what it is so yes yeah, it's just a shame that EA are involved in it so, <laughs> all of these, right, all of these under 13 quid, all of them under 13 quid, I think that is an absolute bargain. If you've picked up a better deal, whatevs, that's all good, let's share some knowledge, let's give some tips, um, but I'm really, really happy with that, really, really happy with that. I think I'm going to continue to ask, um, you know, have you got any games in the back that aren't out yet? because we had to price these up. So super, super stoked. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna be back on Friday for a video. I believe if I can get my timings right, it will be a charity shop game hunt. But thank you for watching. I love you guys. Appreciate you supporting my content. My name is Gemma, take care.